Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we are reviewing another item from Timu, and today we are looking at 50 cool gothic stickers. So here is the company we are looking at. This is Timu. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Timu. I did purchase all my items. And today we are looking at 50 cool sticker packs for teens and adults. So this is what we are looking at. I will put the link in the description. So I paid £1.48 for 50 stickers. They come in this little pack and everything I bought came in this little mailer. It is small because I only ordered charms and stickers because I wanted to test the company out before spending any real money on them, which is common sense when it comes to a new company. Um, companies like this either thrive or they fail or items never arrive or there's problems with shipping. But so far, this order arrived on time. If your order doesn't arrive on time for whatever reason, uh, you get £5 credit uh, back into your account on Timu. So let's take a look at these 50 gothic graffiti slash cool stickers. And here is the first one. And of course, there is nothing cooler than having the ability to have four eyes. I know that's a play on someone having glasses and supposedly having four eyes. Uh, but here is a cool lady who apparently is rocking some extra lenses. Next we have, of course, the Skeleton Virgin Mary, because why not? I'm not religious in any way, so if this offends you, then that's your problem, not mine. Virgin Mary Skeleton. I'm going to assume there's going to be lots of skeletons in here. Next, we have this winged skeleton, which reminds me of the Angel of Death. Cause, and then around the outside, it looks like it's got zodiac signs of some description. So that's pretty cool. Next, of course, we have either a raven or a crow. I think this is a crow compared to a raven. I... I do get confused between ravens and crows. Next, we have this really cool, like, I want to say demon head. It also looks kind of cool. If you're into that kind of demonology and stuff, you can let me know if some of these mean anything. Next, we've got another skull. I knew skulls were going to feature quite a lot. For some reason, goths always have this thing where... They, they like ravens, the dark, vampires, and skulls feature quite a lot because of to do with death, obviously. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be all death. Next we have this winged woman, little angel woman who's got the half moon in her hand. Next, of course, nothing would be more gothic than vampire bats. And obviously, they're in a heart shape. I mean, it speaks for itself. Next, we have another bird. Birds always have a really calming thing for me. Some people are terrified of birds, like pigeons and stuff like that, and parrots. And I love ravens and crows and magpies and stuff like that. Always had a thing for birds. Next, we obviously have a cough, and it says we only come out at night. Because obviously, goths don't like the daylight, you know, vampires and that don't like sunlight. So, goths apparently don't like sunlight either. Next, we have another skull, and this is Elvis skull, because why not? Elvis the skull. We've got one that says the occult 87. Very cool sticker. We have another skull, but this is with roses. A lot of people, when they have a tattoo, will have a skull and then they'll have roses around the top, around the bottom. I don't know why. I think it's something to do with a rose being the more particular rose, um, the flower that you put on a coffin, maybe. Um, Next, we have a really posh woman with her parasol. Obviously, you know, she's dead and all that, but she looks good. She looks uh, dead good. Gothic princess. 
I won't consider myself a princess, more like a, just a goth. <laughs> I'm not really into the whole princessy thing. Next, we have this half face girl. That's kind of cool. And she's got like moths down the side. Like moth girl. This one says dead inside. And obviously, we have the Grim Reaper making an appearance. What would goths be without death? The Grim Reaper. You know, they kind of go like hand in hand. Next, obviously, a coffin, Memento More. More skulls. Next one says dead inside. This one's quite cool. More skulls. It's going to feature... Oh, excuse my leg. It's going to feature a lot of skulls from the look of it. Yeah, another skelly woman. A bit OTT on the skulls. They're a more sort of gothic style than just skulls. But, uh... I could be wrong, but um, here we have a bat. Not the best bat sticker I've ever seen. It's not got much detail. It's a very dark one. Next, we have um, Dr. Death. Do you want to call it that? These were the plague doctors uh, when people got sick. With like the Black Death, they were called plague doctors or who had tuberculosis or typhoid. Next, we have a goth care bear. Do you want to call it that? Goth care bear? Why not? Next, of course, where would goths be without a bottle of poison? Because that, that's what we're synonymous with death, poison, macabre, cemeteries, ravens, skulls. Uh, no stereotyping here. Next, we obviously have a book of spells and potions. This is more like a witch. We do get gothic witches. Uh, I'm not really into the whole witch spells, chanting kind of thing, but a lot of people are, and that's fine. Okay, next we have, of course, mermaids to go with the whole mystical theme. It's not a mermaid, and of course, she's got the skull of her last lover carries that around with her. Next we have a kiss goodbye a day will come. That's kind of cool. I do like the coffin ones. And then we have a second coffin one. This one says no rest. And then where would we be without a bouquet of skulls? Some people actually have bouquet of skulls, would you believe it, on their wedding day in replace of like flowers or, you know, nothing like being different. And here we have the skull and raven from Edgar Allan Poe. I actually have a picture of this exact sticker up there. The skull, the raven, and then in the background of it is the Edgar Allan Poe quote, the raven nevermore. So that's that's kind of cool for me, that sticker. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one more. And this makes ten. So this reminds me of the girl from... Ooh, uh, what's it called? You know, where... Cut. Uh, I can't remember the film. Someone tell me what it's called. Uh, I, I, I'll think of it before the end. But that looks cool. Um, next we have this kind of stag lady. I do like deers and stags particularly. Um, there's something very ethereal about a stag or a deer. Okay, next we have two weird demon dogs. Like yin and yang demon dogs. They're quite cool. Of course, we have two skulls making out, two skeletons. This reminds me of Hey Girl, Hey Boy by the Chemical Brothers. If you've seen that video, you'll know why. Next, we have three of the goth girls. 
we have What's Her Face from Beetlejuice. We obviously have Wednesday Adams. And then we have this lady, which is the one I can't remember. <sighs> can't remember the film. It will come to me, I'm sure of it. But there you go, three of the goth queens, if you want to call them. Um, next, Edward Scissorhands, of course, a very goth aesthetic movie. Aesthetic movie. Oh. Edward Scissorhands himself. Then we have two little twin girls. Nothing creeps me more out than twins. I don't know why. Identical twins creep me out. Luckily, one of our eyes is closed. But identical twins kind of creep me out a bit. It's that whole looking the same. Uh, next, we have this woman who, if you put a glass in front of her face, apparently turns into a skeleton. She's dead on the inside, obviously. Uh, then we have another kind of Edgar Allan Poe reference. We've got the bird on the book with the key and the skull. Let me know if you like Edgar Allan Poe poems, because I do. Next, we have this little girl. She's also kind of cool. And that makes 40 stickers, so we should have 10 to go. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. So, first of all, we have this really weird sticker. It's got a lot going on. It's got a lot going on. I don't know if it's from a movie or what. It reminds me of like a Japanese anime. I'm just not sure which. Let me know if you. Uh, what that's from. Then we have this one that says Thick Leech. I don't know what that is. That looks like a little skull dude. Um, you have this one, which is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm going to guess it's got something to do with the Zodiac or something. Excuse my phone going off. Next, we have Made from the Tears of Robert Smith, Goth Juice. I think. Um, number five, we have this symbol. Now, I did know what this symbol is, and I can't remember anymore because I've completely gone brain dead. Um, I know it's very significant. Okay, so that's five. So we should have five more. One, two, three, four, five more. So here we have again an angel of death or an angel of God, either way. I'm not really a fan of the angels, but I'm sure we want it. Then we have the inside of our bodies. There's your ribcage and your pelvis. Then we have Wednesday Adams herself. I think it's meant to be Wednesday Adams. We'll go with that. Wednesday Adams. Two stickers that basically make up goth. We have Edgar Allan Poe himself. Uh, he's made an appearance from the grave. And then the most synonymous thing with goths is obviously Gomez and Morticia from the Adams family. Can you get more goth than Gomez and Morticia? Their love affair, their romance. That's what I aspire to have as a relationship, that mysterious allure and the darkness and just perfection. So there we have 50 goth aesthetic, aesthetic stickers. So these were 148 for 50. Um, the option was to get 50. I don't think you could get any less. It was just 50. Um, I gave them a five star review because yeah, obviously they were perfect, but this is what we got. And it is very true to the picture. That is exactly what we got, which is what we like. If you want to like and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up, comment down below your favorite things about goths. Is it vampires, skulls? Adam's family, roses, death, the angel of death, the grim reaper. Let me know which your favourite one was down below. 
If you want to help the channel out, PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks, become a member. Join the Graven crew and I will see you very soon for another Timu video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.